This is Buckeye Film Breakdown, where we break down the 10 most interesting clips from Ohio State's most recent game. The Buckeyes' run game has taken a step back this year without J.K. Dommens. Some of it is up front, but the decline has mostly been from the running back position and the inability to see the hole. Plays like this, you have to be able to see the cutback. The lane opens up for Teague to break this play deep, and instead he pours it into the line of scrimmage and still gets a good gain, but misses a chance at a real game breaker. Steel Chambers has cost himself playing time with his fumbling issues, but even when he wasn't fumbling the ball, he wasn't a significant upgrade on Teague or Sermon. Not sure what he's doing during this play, but he stops, braces for contact, and falls into the defender. That's not what you're taught to do. That's not what you want out of your stunning running back. So while a lot of the attention is on the fumbling, there's other issues going on there as well. Another reason for the drop-off in the running game is simply scheme differences. Normally, the Buckeyes would run a read option and wouldn't be forced to block this defensive end here. But when you're playing Rutgers, there's no need to risk a hit on Justin Fields. So instead, they're forced to block an extra guy, and they still have a positive run on this play. But scheme differences like this, forcing yourself to block an extra guy rather than you typically would, those are part of the reasons for the running game problems. Here's the little stuff that makes Chris Olave special. As Fields throws this ball to the end zone, the defender is in a solid position. Olave, however, comes back to the ball and cuts off the defender. If he sits back and waits for the ball to get him, tries to catch it low, the corner has a chance to get his hand on it and who knows what happens. Instead, Olave comes back to the ball and doesn't give the defender a chance to make a play. I'm just not sure how you can create consistent pressure on Justin Fields. Look at this type of pass protection. It's 5-on-4 during this play, and Fields has literally all day to throw. Even when he releases it, you'll see that no one is even close to winning their pass rush. When Fields gets this type of time and the pass protection is this good, there's really nothing you can do as a defense. And here's what makes it worse. Even when you do draw up a play, and even when you do find a way to get some blitzing pressure on Fields, he's still the best athlete on the field with the ability to get out of anything. On this play, he sees the blitzing defensive back, simply jukes him out of his shoes, and picks up an easy first down. One thing I'd like to see is Fields be about 10 more aggressive this season. On this play, he hesitates and doesn't end up dropping it to off to the running back out of the backfield. Now, that's fine when you're facing an inferior opponent, but when you play a real defensive team in the playoff, these little things like this are going to matter, and you need to be willing to fit the ball in a little bit riskier situations. Again, this is nitpicking. He's been fantastic this year, but just... A little bit more aggressive, a few more incompletions, a few more interceptions if it means pushing the ball downfield really wouldn't hurt him. Here's a sign of growth in playing the position at the next level. At first, it looks like he leaves Wilson short on this play, seeing how Wilson has to slow down and stop on his route. However, when you look at it more closely, you can see he's actually helping Wilson out. Putting the ball short and putting it to his outside shoulder ensures the safety can't get over in time. And this is actually the perfect placement by Fields, and it's really a next-level understanding of coverages and where he needs to put this ball. Early against Penn State, Tough Boylan blew up a screenplay on fourth down. Here, he does something similar, buzzing out to the flats to stop the bubble. As he does that, the quarterback is making a read on him and is relying on Pete Warner to also be out of the action. However, Warner stays home on his responsibility and is there to stop the QB. Now, a face mask keeps the drive alive on this play. However, this was great defense. For all his limitations as an athlete, Tough Borland still does a great job of getting side into sideline. He diagnoses the play quickly enough he can typically make up for his actual speed. Watch him cover that entire play on this outside sweep, and it was another great game for Tough Borland after what was admittedly a rough start to the season. So these are the 10 most insightful plays from Buckeye Breakdown. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and review.